Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So a couple of days ago, I posted letting you know that Google is furthering its crackdown on Manifest V2 extensions, including uBlock Origin. And as I mentioned in that video, which once again will be linked down below and in the end screen, in Chrome uh, Canary, which is an early preview version, the toggle to re-enable V2 extensions is now starting to be grayed out and you can only remove them or find alternatives. Now go check that video out if you'd like to play catch up. But just a kind of update video to that previous one because as you may well know, um, the Google Chrome extension manager gives you this option still keep for now. So you can find an alternative, remove from Chrome or keep for now. Now, in regards to keeping the extension for now, if we head over to an announcement by Google over on their Chrome Web Store help page regarding unsupported extensions, and we click on temporarily enable the extension, here's some important information. Google says you can only re-enable the extension for a limited period of time after it has been disabled, and then they recommend you find an alternative extension over on the Chrome Web Store. So. When the extension has been disabled, which you will see, and what they will do is they will, you'll have this toggled off. So if you come back and toggle that on, they say, you can only re-enable an extension for a limited period of time. So they don't give us an exact kind of time frame, but this means that they are clamping down now even further to what I posted in that previous video. So the end is now, so to speak, V2 extensions, including uBlock Origin are soon going to be no more in the Google Chrome web browser. Now, as we have also been talking about over the last couple of months on the channel, just a quick recap. If you try to download a V2 extension from the Chrome Web Store, so as an example, if I go uBlock, uBlock Origin as an example, and I click on that, you'll see it says... This extension may soon no longer be supported because it doesn't follow best practices for Chrome extensions. And this has caused quite a lot of, de a, a lot of debate in certain circles. Obviously, Google are making that statement. And as I've posted in a previous video as well, which I'll also leave linked down below and in the end screen, the developer of uBlock Origin has also um, officially announced that you can use uBlock um, Lite, which basically is a based on a newer API and is officially supported. But um, I have seen a lot of comments on the channel after posting that video that uh, uBlock Origin Lite um, is not as good, obviously, as the original so-called uBlock Origin. But nonetheless, that is recommended once they totally disable the original uBlock Origin, which I think by the end of this year will be no more. And this is going to affect approximately 30 million Chrome users when they um, dis disable uBlock Origin completely and V2 extensions completely. And according to Google, they say the manifest V2 framework presents security risks by allowing unreviewed code to be executed in extensions. That's why, according to Google, they are deprecating V2 extensions, where they say that manifest V3 um, only allows an extension to execute JavaScript as part of its package ultimately mitigating the risk. So that's the, the given the take of why Google is um, deprecating V2 extensions, including uBlock Origin. And this has gained quite a lot of interest um, online and also on this channel. So as I get these little snippets and these updates, I'll try and keep you in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.